whey protein and casein protein both come from a cow um, so animal based proteins versus a plant protein is obviously plant based protein um, the main differences are that whey and casein have a complete amino acid profile um, whereas a plant based protein typically won't have a complete amino acid profile so ideally if if the person can eat them a casein or a whey is going to be a better quality product from a recovery point of view because it has a complete amino acid profile for the muscles to recover more effectively. If someone was a vegan or, or they just had a preference for a plant-based protein powder, I would always recommend that it's a, a mixed or a blend um, protein powder. So for example, a um, not just a rice or a pea, it could be a rice and a pea combination. So we're getting a more um, complete amino acid profile in that particular protein powder. Absorption rate is a big thing to consider when it comes to these different types of protein. So where would you recommend taking each different one? So uh, we'll discuss differences between protein, uh, whey protein and then casein protein first. So whey protein is absorbed quite quickly. So that's going to be most effective um, immediately post training where we can get more um, protein into the muscles quicker. Casein protein is a slower, um, slower absorbed and slower digested sort of protein as well. So this might be used as part of a meal perhaps or prior to sleep if we're looking for a recovery benefit as, as the athletes sleeping. Is uh, the plant-based protein, are they fast or slow release? So is there any difference with the plant-based proteins with a slower release or a fast release? So typically a, a plant protein is going to be a much slower um, absorption rate than a, a whey or a casein as well. Uh, so, and it's not digestible as um, the, the rate of digestion is not as high as a, a whey based product or a casein based product as well. So typically it'll only be sort of 60 to 80% absorbed um, and over a couple of hours. Um, so that's also important to understand if you're having a plant based protein powder is um, that it's not going to be completely digestible. It's not going to have a complete amino acid profile typically uh, and it is going to be a slower absorption rate. With all these different types of proteins, is there any benefit just to having more straight after your workout to get as much in as you can? Or is Not necessarily. I think um, protein supplements are often marketed very well as um, you know, supporting recovery and they can do, um, but generally you're going to get more benefits from eating food first. So um, where I would use a protein powder would be from a convenience perspective. If you, um, you know, had to duck off to work, if there was another training session coming up, like a gym session um, tagged onto the back of a, a training session, um, or if we just needed extra calories in, it might be a way of using a protein powder. However, if we can get um, a main meal or a snack in, whether that be from eggs or um, fish or yogurt or, or some other form of, of good quality protein there. And again, if we could use tofu or beans um, or soy products as a vegetarian, uh, my preference would always be food first because there's going to be other vitamins and minerals that are going to be included in those foods. It's going to be um, generally tastier and more um, satiating as well. So protein powders are not necessary for recovery. They can benefit, but it really depends on the person's training schedule and lifestyle that we need to take into consideration. But would you use uh, these protein drinks throughout the day to keep a steady protein intake coming into your body? Because can't your body only digest so much protein per hour? It can do. So it can be useful as, as topping up protein levels over the day. Again, it wouldn't be my first preference because I'd always encourage people to try and use a whole food um, product first before using a supplement. Um, However, if that wasn't um, possible or if they generally just didn't enjoy eating other protein based foods, it can be um, used as a bit of a top up throughout the day um, because you're right, the, the protein um, intake over the day, it's you know, very important to understand that we do um, need a drip feed of protein over the day so that we've got amino acids consistently being fed through to muscles um, rather than just you know, one or two large boluses. Um, recovery benefits uh, will, will um, exceed from, sorry, the recovery benefits of having protein spread over the day far outweigh just having a really large protein based meal only once or twice over the day. And is it beneficial to mix whey and casein protein together so you get a oh, quick release and then also the slow release? Because I love having uh, like milk with my whey 
So there's like casein and whey in it? Yeah, absolutely. So they will both um, do different things. Obviously the casein is a slower absorption, whereas the whey is a, a quicker um, absorption rate. So it can be beneficial to do both. Um, if you're only doing whey uh, and that was on water, for example, we've got to take into consideration the consistency and the flavor of that as well. So adding milk to a protein powder will have a, um, a casein element to it. Uh, it can be a lot tastier, can be a lot creamier and will support sort of a, a longer um, or a slower absorbing protein as well. So it can support recovery in, in both ways. What role does uh, protein have in muscle building post-exercise? So post-exercise, it is important that we're getting in protein relatively quickly um, to support muscle cell turnover, particularly if we're looking to grow um, muscles or improve strength. However, it's important to understand that if, if muscle growth or building mass is um, uh, one of the, the athlete's goals, protein is not the only thing that matters. Um, carbohydrates, I would argue, are just as important. So it, it's kind of thinking it as a bit of a, a building block to supporting the muscle cells um, growing. Um, so typically during a training session, we would have used a set amount of glycogen. Um, and so we need to replace that glycogen to support muscle cell turnover as well. Um, the, the most important thing to, to growing muscle is actually a calorie surplus. So that can come from both, you know, carbohydrates and protein and fats. So, and it, but it is important to understand that if we're not in a calorie surplus, it's impossible to, to grow muscles um, because there's nothing there to build those muscles upon. Then our protein spread over the day becomes important and then supporting the muscle growth with carbohydrates um, as a third priority. So if you can only choose one type of protein drink to have, what would you go for? Whey protein is still the uh, highest quality protein. It's, it's faster absorbed um, and, and typically is going to be more useful than, than either of um, casein or, or plant.